How fast can a child learn a musical instrument compared to an adult? How fast can they learn a second or third language? They learn fast, right? Because why? How many people you hear a song and it'll take you back to when you're a child? Raise your hand. How many people it's not a song, but maybe it's a fragrance or a food that will take you back decades? Because information combined with emotion became a long-term memory, right? Because we're not logical, we're what? We don't do things logically all the time. We do things what? Emotionally, right? Because we're not logical, we're biological. Everyone wants to write this down. All learning is state dependent. That the emotional state that you feel when you're learning something gets anchored to the learning. Does that make sense? By the way, what was the state that you felt back in school? Bored, and the other class, the other half of the class is like confused, right? Now, on a scale of zero to ten, what's boredom? Zero. Anything times zero becomes what? Zero, and that's why a lot of people don't remember what they learn. It's the emotional state. Does that make sense? We said that children are the fastest learners, right? That they have this curiosity and they play all the time. Now, it's been shown in science, the research, by doing, by playing more, actually creates neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. Like Einstein didn't have a bigger brain than anyone here, but in certain areas of his brain, he had highly connectedness. He, he did these thought experiments where he would put himself in these brainwave states, specifically theta state. That's the state that you're in when you shower. That's the theta state. That's a relaxed state of creativity. You're inspired. You come up with new ideas. New things come out of you, right? And so he had more connections in certain areas, and so you could promote that by playing more. We live in an age where it's not your muscle power; it's more your mind power. The faster you can learn, certainly the faster you can earn, but not just financially in all the areas of your life. I remember recently I got to introduce two of my modern-day superheroes. It was Stan Lee. And we're going to dinner. I, I remember asking Stan. I was like, I have to know. You, you've created all these incredible superheroes. Who's your favorite? And he looks at me without a blink. He's like, Iron Man. And then he's like, Jim, who's your favorite superhero? I was like, Spider Man. And without a pause, he says, With great power comes. The opposite is also true. With great responsibility comes great power. When you take responsibility for something, you have great power to what? To change things, to transform things, to make things better. You want to build a, a physical muscle, you give it what? Nutrition. Same thing with your mental muscles. Information combined with emotion becomes a long-term memory, right? The state that you learn something in, the mood and the feelings that you learn something in, gets attached to what you want to learn. I'm going to give you six keys to learn anything faster. You can write these down. I want you to remember: be fast. Be fast. Six keys to learn any subject or skill faster. So the B in be fast stands for believe. Because if you believe you can or believe you can't, either way, what? Either way, you're right. All behavior is belief driven. How many people here talking about memory? Because memory, forgetting is a state. A lot of people say, "Oh, I have a bad memory." Right? They always think I have memory, or I have focus, or I don't have focus, or I have creativity. I don't have creativity. I want you to scrap that. Creativity is not something you have; it's something you do. Memory is not something you have; it's something you do. There's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's just a trained memory and an untrained memory. Your brain is like a supercomputer, and your self-talk. Is a program it will run. So if you tell yourself you're not good at remembering names, you will not remember the name of the next person you meet because you programmed your supercomputer not to. Your mind is always eavesdropping on your self-talk. And so the challenge here is this: too much information, too little time. The amount of information is doubling at dizzying speed. But how we learn it, how we remember it, has that changed at all? Your brain cycles through different brain waves. Beta is when you're most awake. Delta is when you're asleep. Theta is right above delta. That's the state of creativity we talked about. Like in between theta and beta, when you're most awake, is a state called alpha. Right? It's a state you go in when you meditate. State you go into when you do deep breathing. Breathing. State you're also in when you watch television. The alpha state is a great state to learn in, though. So how do you keep your brain active? So smart devices could be extremely convenient. I'll actually, I'll give you a third villain: digital dementia. This is the idea that we're outsourcing our brains to our smart devices. We're so reliant 
on our smartphones that our smartphones are making us stupid. It's convenient. I don't want to. I, I don't want to memorize 500 phone numbers, but we've lost the ability to memorize one. There is no learning without remembering. So B is believe. Believe you can, believe you can. Now the E, I'm going to go through these really fast, is exercise. Exercise. And what I mean by this is I mean physical exercise. Because your brain, primary, the primary function of your brain is to control your movement. As your body moves, your brain grooves. If you want to learn any subject or skill faster, the F is to forget, forget. A lot of people don't learn faster because they feel like they know it already, right? So you want to forget about anything else than what you're learning here, temporarily. The A in fast stands for active. You take notes, you ask questions, you, do, you participate in it. The S in fast stands for state, that all learning is state dependent. All learning is state dependent. I never want to learn in a bored state. Right? Most people, like when they read, they're in a bored state. People wonder why they don't remember what they read. So control your state. Finally, the T in FAST and be FAST stands for teach. You learn with the intention of teaching it to somebody else. If you had to teach this to somebody when you got back home, your team, your family, your friends, would you learn it differently, right? So you learn with the intention of teaching to somebody else. Because when you teach something, you get to learn it twice. Let me close with this. When I got home, there was a package waiting for me. I opened up. I don't know if you could put this last this slide on, please. I opened it up, and there's this photograph. There's a photograph of me and the entire cast of X-Men. And even better than Holly Berry and Jennifer Lawrence and everything that's on there was the note from the chairman. It said this, Jim, thank you so much for sharing your superpowers with all of us. I know you've been looking for your superhero school since you were a kid. Here's your class photo. So my question for you is this. If you could go back to that child inside of you, that younger self, and right now tell them something that they need to hear, what would that be? And if you were to go in the future, one year, two years, five years, 10 years, and in the future, I believe you have wisdom inside of you. I believe you have greatness inside of you. If you were to project 10 years ahead of time and look back on this day right now, what does your current self need to hear from your future self? I have a quote that I get quoted on more than anything else. It talks about an egg and stress. That your egg is like your life. That if an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. But if it's broken by an inside force, life begins. And all great things begin on the inside. Thank you very much.